You guys are fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the report. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the You're fine. Check one. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just just um yeah, just mm -hmm. just get call or put your feet down. Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. We do have a tornado warning that's been issued for Richland County. Let's go ahead and take a look at that radar right away. Uh, as we have a storm in the southern part of the county here and also a separate tornado warning down in northeast parts of South Dakota for the Britain and Veblen areas as well. So we'll cover both of these in this quick update <clears throat> right now. Uh, southern parts of Richland County here and not far from Foreman, Cayuga, we have a tornado warned storm. This storm moving off to the east towards Lidgerwood at 32 miles per hour. So it's right along the highway corridor here as we look at Highway 11. The Cayuga to Lidgerwood stretch is where the storm is. Moving east at 32 miles per hour, the tornado worn storm uh, will be making its way off towards Lidgerwood and Hankinson in the upcoming half hour to 45 minutes. Lidgerwood 836, that rotating and tornadic storm will be near you. Mantador 853 and near 9 for Hankinson and a little later for the Great Bend area. So that's the movement of that particular storm. Let me show you a look at the velocity so I can show you exactly where the spin is being detected by the Doppler radar uh, with this particular storm. So it's way down on the south side. There's this uh, area of rotation right near Cayuga right now that's making its way off towards Lidgerwood. So please seek shelter in that interior room. Stay away from the windows. And let's go ahead and take you to a look at what's going on with regards to this area on a couple of cameras. We do have some DOT cameras down in this area, so I'll go ahead and uh, effort to show you what we are seeing with regards to those. So quickly, here's a look at the uh, North Dakota DOT map. We'll get down into the impacted area here uh, and the Highway 11 corridor between Foreman and, say, Lidgerwood, and this is what the storm looks like in that particular uh, zone at this time. So again, a dangerous storm rotating tightly on the Highway 11 corridor moving east at close to 35 miles per hour. It's heading in your general direction, so please be aware that that will be pushing its way towards you uh, in the coming moments. So that is a look at what's going on there. Back to the radar we go. We'll take a look at the rest of the storms making their way through and to highlight a couple of the uh, tornado warnings as well as flash flood warnings in our area that have recently been issued. So that is that warning. Now let's go back down just a little bit to the south. As you see, we have a, a tornado warning that also does continue for the Veblen area. The rotation with this particular storm is generally right over Veblen at this time heading towards Clare City. That's moving east at 48 miles per hour, and this storm could contain some significant gusty straight line winds as well. The tornado threat does continue with these storms as they move off to the east, obviously with these new tornado warnings. But as these storms in the Southern Valley near the South Dakota line approach, you'll want to seek shelter in a sturdy structure with regard to these storms. Flash flood warning continues south of Edgeley, north of Ellendale and that area because of the uh, heavy rains that made its way through upwards of three inches in parts of southern and, and western Dickey County there. Flash flood warnings now in Cass County. It does not include Fargo, but from not far from Tower City through Castleton, uh, two to three inches of estimated rainfall along the interstate there have prompted a flash flood warning. Remember, never try to drive across a flooded roadway. So Valley City, that area of the Cheyenne River Valley, also under a flood warning until 945. Taking a look at the regular old-fashioned radar uh, view of the entire region, showing all of the activity tonight, focusing on the Southern Valley, Southeast North Dakota. Will there be tornadoes tonight in parts of uh, Western Minnesota? I can't roll them out early, but as we go through the overnight, uh, the uh, main event tonight will be a very gusty straight line winds. If you're in Fargo, if you're in Ada, Monoman, Faustin, anywhere up in the Northern Valley, all I anticipate that we'll have to worry about in the area I'm going to be circling now is going to be very heavy rainfall with this. 
and it's moving off in an easterly fashion as we go through. So yes, heavy rain, Bemidji, Walker, Hibbing, Brainerd Lakes area, Detroit Lakes area, Otter Tail County, and point south though down here where i will make the second circle this is where the severe threat will continue most models had this activity moving east southeast towards st cloud and out toward duluth by the morning hours so i'll keep you posted but for now as storms approach know that there is a risk of tornadoes along the south dakota border that's where the strongest storms are two tornado warnings there richland county included as well as parts of roberts county south dakota britain veblen areas uh, for tonight. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson reminding you, you can get the latest on Hutch'sWeather.com anytime, anywhere. And again, Hutch'sWeather.com brought to you by my fine sponsors. It would not be possible without them. So keep them in mind. I'm excited to introduce you to a new sponsor of Hutch'sWeather.com. Please say howdy to JLA Crop Insurance. Nate can get you a quote. And if you have your uh, uh, crop on the line, he can have crop hail insurance in effect within two hours give nate a call you can find out more information by clicking on his link on hutchinsweather.com until next time please stay tuned and stay safe i'll keep you posted right here you're watching hutch's weather hutch's